Hey everyone, so good to see you again and this week we've got a guest vlog with my friend Tom McConnell here all the way from London and he, well originally from Ireland, is that right? Belfast? Uh, yeah, close enough. Close yeah, enough. Yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, Tom, you've, you're a worship pastor at St James in London, can you tell me a little bit about what that means in your day job? Yeah, absolutely. So um, St James is a, a really vibrant, lively um, Anglican Church in North London. We have four congregations on a Sunday mm -hmm. um, that range from just reading the Book of Common Prayer right through to rock and roll worship band in the evening mm -hmm. and everything in between. Um, so great. yeah, it's great. Yeah. And, and so we've been talking and writing today and we've been talking a little bit about one of Tom's old bands that he was a part of. Um, a few years back you are in Seattle, is that right? And you were mm -hmm. part of a band called Citizens or Citizens and Saints as it's now called. Um, which is one of my like favourite worship bands around, and I'd love to hear a little bit more about that and how it started and how you got involved in it. Yeah, absolutely. So I did um, a year studying in in Seattle and was going to a church, kind of interning at a church called Mars Hill. And when I first arrived, Zach Bolin, who's the um, the lead singer of Citizens and Saints was had just joined as the worship yep. pastor and he was looking to form a new band and so I started playing guitar with with him and then that band kind of became Citizens and Saints and I was able to spend the year writing with them recording that first EP and also that album that you yeah. um, had mentioned the, the first album Citizens and it was just a fantastic formative kind of experience yeah. um, in terms of worship leading for me and being a part of um, yeah, a body of, of uh, musicians who really sought honesty and musical excellence in, in their work. That's brilliant. Yeah. And, and it really shows in that album as well. Um, and now, when you write a new song, like we all have different methods and, and ways of writing, but um, you like to carry around different hymnals, is that correct? Can you tell us why? Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've, I've got a hymnal here with me today. Um, I just kind of keep them... Mm -hmm. You know, at hand because I think there's so much to be learned from old songs, uh -huh. um, you know, old Christian hymns of the faith that um, are so full and rich with truth. Mm. Um, and sometimes, you know, we lose that. Sometimes the language is a little bit archaic, but the sentiments there and uh, the expressions of worship are just as relevant today, I think, um, as they were when they were first written. Amazing. And um, and we're, we've been working on a song today, which has been great. We've been here at the C3 Centre in Cambridge, and um, I thought it'd be really good for you to play a little bit of that, if that's yeah, all right. Can you absolutely. tell us a bit about it and then play us a chorus or something? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so the song is, working title is God of the Ages, and it was really, uh, I wanted to write something that was praying to the three members of the Holy Trinity, asking a big question to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Um, yeah, it's really, a, it's really a, a prayer song, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Why don't you play us a, a chorus? Absolutely, yeah. Mm. Servant King, wash me clean with the blood that never fails. Hands and feet that bore the nails to set me free. Oh, Savior King, wash me clean with the blood that never fails. Hands and feet that bore the names to set me free. It's beautiful. Love it. That was his part that he wrote. So <laughs> good job. Um, thanks so much, Tom, for being with us this time. Thanks for having and, um, me. And excited to hear more of what we're going to do next time. If you've got any questions or comments you'd like to leave below or want to hear some of Tom's music, get in touch, leave a comment, and I'm sure we'll put a link on or something to make sure that you can hear it. All right. Thanks. Bye.